in indefinite articles we see a and an and the definite article is the article the is used before a superlative degree of a word a preposition is a word used to link nouns pronouns or phrases to other words within a sentence hello everyone this is shobita s yes, aradhya lecturer department of english vidyashram pre university college mysuru a temple of excellence yes i welcome you all to this session and today's session we will be discussing articles and prepositions let me share you something my brother's name is the lokesh my daughter is the school studying isn't it weird what did you understand you did not understand the sentence properly because i have not used the articles appropriately articles are only 3 in english a and and the but they play a very important role in every sentence of english so how to use the articles what are the rules to be followed let us discuss in today's session we have two types of articles one is the indefinite article and the other is definite article in indefinite articles we have a and an i told you there are only three articles and they are categorized as indefinite articles and definite articles in indefinite articles we see a and an and the definite article is the let us start with the first type of article that is indefinite article where do we use these articles that is before countable or singular nouns referring to people things that have not already been mentioned when we use it in a paragraph if in a paragraph about a person or a thing if it is already mentioned then we use the definite article but if the person or the thing is not mentioned previously we use indefinite article a and an so when it is in common we use a and an when we are very particular we use the before uncountable nouns and those have an adjective in front of them or a phrase following them so you must be knowing countable nouns and uncountable nouns countable nouns which can be counted are known as countable nouns like i have a pen there are the chairs these are four desks like here we use the number or they are countable ones which we can count with the numbers some cannot be counted like the stars in the sky nobody can count the stars in the sky and the sugar sugar crystals cannot be counted these are called as uncountable nouns which cannot be counted so we use before uncountable nouns and those have an adjective in front of the or a phrase following them so here adjective means let me give you an example i have bought a new car here new is an adjective it is adding something to the noun car so when it is before an adjective we use the indefinite article a as it is singular we have already said before countable or singular nouns or before uncountable nouns which is followed by a phrase so there we use indefinite article and we also use indefinite articles 
to mean any or every a boy in the class a teacher in the staff room so one amongst all at that time we use a or an what is the difference between a and an can it be used all the time no we use an when we are having vowel sound noun in front of it so vowel sound which are the five vowels a e i o u if there are sounds of these five vowels only there we use an if it is a normal singular noun or the countable noun or uncountable noun that is followed by an adjective there we use a if it is a vowel sound we use an so let us take an example like an apple a day keeps the doctor away so this proverb has all the three articles in it an apple as it is before apple a a sound a has a sound so an apple a day it is a consonant sound day it starts with d sound of a consonant so here we are using indefinite article a because it is before a consonant sound word and it is singular keeps the doctor away the so whom the usage of apple keeps away doctor we are very particular it is not some other profession it is the doctor we are very particular about this noun so we use the so this is how we use the indefinite article now let us go to the next part that is definite article the is the definite article and the use where do we use definite article to refer to somebody or something that has already been mentioned i previously told you we use the when we have already mentioned that person or a thing in the paragraph earlier or in the passage or maybe in the story earlier when we are particular that it is the same person or it is the same thing that time we use article the to refer to somebody or something that is only one normal one and obvious one the earth the sky the ganga the universe we we are very sure that it is the only one the obvious one or the normal one that time we use definite article the article the is used before a superlative degree of a word what is superlative degree of a word like great greater greatest greatest is the superlative degree greater is the comparative correct so we use when it is a superlative degree of the word in the sentence before the superlative degree word we use definite article the like fastest is the superlative degree of the word so before fastest we are using article the okay we are sure that he is the fastest and he cannot be compared to any other runner so at that time we use the article the when we are very sure we also use for those which are only one the earth the sun as i gave you the examples these are about the articles and preposition let me recap it 
we use indefinite articles when it is singular noun and countable noun also we use for uncountable nouns which are having the adjectives before them and also we use when it is telling about any or every in a group and the definite article the is used during superlative degree of a word and when we know that it is the only one and if it is the particular one we use the definite article the let us see here solve this paragraph note the use of underlined words in the following paragraphs once an old hermit saw a kite catching a little mouse can you see the underlined words yes please observe once an old hermit saw a kite catching a little mouse he felt sorry for the mouse he took an apple and threw at the kite the kite dropped the mouse in fear and flew away then the hermit picked up the mouse and by his holy power changed it into a young maiden so here all these are articles used once an old hermit why an is used it is singular and has the vowel sound word after it old o is pronounced as the sound of o vowel o itself so once an old hermit saw a kite why a here again it is singular but why are we using a because it has a consonant sound this noun has a consonant sound so we are using a once an old hermit saw a kite catching a little mouse again a because it is having the consonant sound little mouse he felt this is an adjective actually little is adjective it is telling about the mouse how the mouse is the noun okay he felt sorry for the mouse now why the mouse because it is already mentioned earlier mentioned about mouse in this paragraph so here we are using the particular definite article that is the he took an apple and threw at the kite so an apple this has the vowel sound so we are using an and it is singular one apple so an apple and threw at the kite again here we are using the definite article the because kite is already mentioned in the paragraph the kite dropped the mouse so again it is particular and we have already mentioned kite and mouse in the paragraph so we are using definite article the the kite dropped the mouse in fear and flew away then the hermit picked up the hermit hermit is mentioned previously so the hermit picked up the mouse and by his holy power changed it into a young maiden so here young maiden is first time used in the paragraph so a it is singular so we are using a young maiden hope you have understood better now let us do some more exercises fill in the blanks with a or an or the he is dash youngest son in the family observe youngest it is the superlative degree word so we use the because of the superlative degree used here anu is looking for a job it is a job one job she is searching for and first time in the sentence so we use a job could you close the door please we are very particular only one door windows will be more in a room door one so could you close the door please anil is 
an optician here the vowel sound is there so we use an optician dr shankar is dash dentist dr shankar is a dentist he is a he is one okay among all dr shankar is one as i told if using any or every when we are put telling about any or every in the group that time we use the indefinite article a my friend is carefully look at the board my friend is an mla why am i using an before m because m we pronounce it as m we use the sound of e vowel e so we use an mla if it is singular then we we pronounce it as m so we use an rajo is in the class have you ever visited the andaman islands very particular so the andaman islands though andaman has the sound of vowel we are using the because it is the only one andaman islands is the only one we don't have any other island with the name andaman so when we are very particular we use the definite article please bring a kilogram of apples here kilogram is in singular so we use a and also this is uh, is having the consonant sound so we use a here mara did not have any teeth on the right side of his mouth very particular the right side of his mouth so we use the so once again we have seen the rules and we have solved this exercise now we'll move on to prepositions as the term says preposition positioning before before what used before a noun pronoun or noun phrase to show direction time place location special relationships or to introduce an object we use preposition in all these conditions so preposition is a word or group of words used before a noun before a noun name of a person place or thing is noun or pronoun instead of noun what we use in english are pronoun he she it they you me okay all these are pronouns before pronouns also we use prepositions or noun phrases if they are in a group that time we use the preposition to show the direction so preposition it links between the subject and the object in a sentence subject is the noun part in a sentence and the object the remaining part of the sentence to connect to the subject and the object of a sentence we use preposition preposition tells us in which direction the noun is doing something or what time the noun is performing something where the noun is performing something or the person why i am mentioning noun here because we use for pronoun also okay direction time place location spatial relationships okay the spatial relationships and to introduce an object also we use the preposition a preposition is a word used to link nouns pronouns or phrases to other words within a sentence this is the simplest uh, form of describing preposition examples for preposition prepositions are many so some of the examples are here in on at of to from across etc so we have to be very particularly understanding about the prepositions because many a times 
we do common errors while using prepositions when to use in when to use at when to use on are very important and usually across and along confuses and since and for these prepositions confuses these are the common errors made by people so you have to be very conscious when you are using these prepositions here is an exercise observe the words in bold some words are in bold here please observe them it was quite a big city in the valley of a mountain some 1500 miles from home the inhabitants of which had never been known of is also a preposition had never been known for the quality of mercy for and of they were a cruel people murder robbery pickpocketing these were daily occurrences by profession people were soldiers some of them went to distant places and lent out money on interest many others served as watchmen in banks mills and large commercial establishments in big cities money was highly valued by them for money they would do anything even commit murder so you can see the highlighted the bold words they link the noun to the other part of the sentence the object of the sentence it tells the time the direction and the other things which we must understand what is mentioned in this it was a quite big city in the valley in the valley where in the valley it is telling the place of a mountain valley of mountain so subject and mountain is the object here when compared to this so it tells the link between those some 1500 miles from home from where from home it is the place the inhabitants of which had never been known for the quality of mercy so it is connecting so these uh, usage of the prepositions in a sentence is very important if you interchange the meaning will be completely wrong and it won't be understood by the person whom you are telling so these all are the preposition to understand preposition better let us do the exercise now identify the prepositions in the following sentences and underline them so you have to find out the prepositions shall we start yes he threw the ball across the court across the court when do we use across when it is the distance in between if this is the road this is along the road and this is across the road okay so we use across when it is the distant particular we use along for the direction which is in same so here the road has the same direction one single direction there we use along but across is used from one point to the other point then we use across he threw the ball across the court court from one point to the other point from one end to the other end of the court so across is used here they drove along the road i said if it is in the same direction then we use along they drove along the road because it is in the same direction along the road come and sit next to me next showing the place 
Next to me is the preposition. Next is the preposition. Please don't be angry with me. So, this is the subject and this is the object part of the sentence. It is connecting. Please don't be angry with me. With is the preposition. Next exercise. Fill in the blanks with appropriate prepositions from the brackets. Usually we get confused with beside and besides. So let me tell you, beside is next to, to me. Sitting next to me, walking next to me is next to me is the side. So we use beside. Besides is, uh, it means beyond also. I am a teacher beyond being a mother. So the other part which can be seen or done the, to mention that we use besides so in this sentence revati go and sit beside shoba so next to shoba has the train from mysore arrived from a place particular place through means by all the ways. So from means from one point to the other point. Here myso is the place mentioned. So we will use from. Don't eat anything. Dash meals as it is bad for health. So between Meals. Okay. Don't eat anything between meals. Varun waited since or for. I told you these two prepositions will always confuse you. So, since is from a particular time. We see in the advertisements since 1982, since 1685. So, that is from a particular point of period. If that point of period is mentioned, we have to use since. And for is used for a period of time, from here to here, for a time. It has been raining for three hours. So, when it is a period of time, we use for. Here in this sentence, Varun waited for an hour for his sister at the bus stop. So, it is a period of time here. So, we will use for. Vidya is not afraid of anything. O F of. This preposition has to be used here. Of anything. Vidya is not afraid of anything. So, one more exercise. Correct the following sentences. The shops in the city open on 9 o'clock. When we are telling the exact time, we should use the preposition at. So, this is the wrong one. The shops in the city open at 9 o'clock. So, at is the correct preposition to be used. He lives at Mumbai. Mumbai is a place. So, when we are telling place, it should be in. So, this is wrong preposition used here. He lives in Mumbai. In is the correct usage. He cut an apple by knife. No, that is not by knife, with knife. So, this is the wrong usage. He cut an apple with knife. With is the correct preposition. It has been raining since three hours. So, it is period of time. Three hours is period of time. So, we should use for, not since.
it has been raining for three hours. Four is the correct preposition. Distribute the mangoes between all the students. Between is used when there are only two people or two things. To compare two things or people, we use the preposition between. But here it is plural, students, more. It is a group, more than two. We cannot use between here. So, between is the wrong usage. We must use among, among the group. When there are more than two, we need to use the preposition among. Distribute the mangoes among all the students. Okay, so we solved some of the exercises on articles and preposition. In articles, there are two types. One is indefinite article, which consists of a and an, and the other is definite article. It is only one, that is the. And prepositions, there are many. We saw some of the examples and we have solved some of the exercises to understand preposition better. So, this is all for today and in our next session, we will be discussing few more aspects of grammar. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.